From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. March 20th, 1995. Morning rush hour in Tokyo. In crowded subways, terrorists release the deadly nerve gas sarin, killing and maiming thousands. Shizui Takahashi's husband, Kazuma, died while trying to help others. In recent years, terrorists began obtaining weapons of mass destruction and using them to inflict suffering on civilians anywhere, whenever they choose. So what can be done to prevent terrorists from acquiring and using weapons of mass destruction and to protect civilians from WMD terror attacks? The most forceful action taken thus far is United Nations Security Council Resolution 1540, which UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon says is essential to keep people safe. We cannot afford to be complacent in the face of such a grave threat. Resolution 1540 requires every government to adopt and enforce laws to prevent terrorists from acquiring and using weapons of mass destruction. Thirteen people died from the sarin attacks. Over 5,000 were injured. New laws enabled Japan to improve its detection and response capabilities. The country is safer than ever before, say Japanese authorities. But the recent Fukushima earthquake raises new fears. ロイスとが原子力発電所を攻撃をして Shiro Kawamoto is a counter-terrorism expert based in Tokyo. In 1995, which is what the United Nations and the international community have been trying to achieve, says South Korea Ambassador and Chairman of the Committee, which is implementing Resolution 1540, Oh Jun. Over the past 10 years, we have worked for universal implementation of Resolution 1540. The world today is obviously better able to prevent WMD terrorism. Preventing WMD terror poses one set of challenges. Accidents caused by natural disasters or man-made pose yet another. But images of these accidents are fading. Seveso, Bhopal on Chernobyl, and the cesium accident in Goiania, Brazil. UN High Representative for Disarmament Affairs, Angela Kane, believes cooperation among nations is key. The most effective way to actually implement uh, Resolution 1540 uh, is to work together internationally. That means all of the governments, the member states of the United Nations, it means international civil society. It's impossible to fully heal the wounds of the past, but forceful UN actions like Resolution 1540 may reduce fear and panic, bringing the world closer to safety and peaceful cohabitation. This report was produced by Charlie Lyons for the United Nations.